Thank you for listening to this webinar. I'm going to go ahead and get started here. On behalf of Jobs for Michigan's graduates, I wanted to thank you for offering to volunteer judge for our 10th annual Career Development Conference. Throughout this PowerPoint, I'm going to go over best practices and how to be prepared for the day. So again, thank you for taking the time to volunteer. We really could not make this event happen without each and every one of you offering to be a judge for the competitive events for the day. To give you a little background on Jobs for Michigan's graduates, um, Jobs for Michigan's graduates is the main program of youth solutions. It's a proven solution to Michigan's graduation and youth unemployment challenges. We operate in 42 plus urban and rural cities across the state of Michigan. We deliver dropout prevention, dropout recovery, and school to career transition services for over 2,800 youth in the current school year. We partner with various organizations, including Michigan Works Agencies, school districts, nonprofits, and employers to deliver programming. Um, Jobs for Michigan's graduates is accredited by the National Jobs for America's Graduates Program. Our mission and vision. So our vision is every young adult is educated, employed, and career bound. Our mission is to equip young adults with the skills to overcome barriers and win in education, employment, and as citizens. A little bit about our youth that you'll be meeting during the day. The average age is 18 years old. They have about seven barriers that they come into our program with. 68% of them are economically disadvantaged, and then 80% are potential first-generation college students. As you can see, our statewide impact, we have a program in almost every area of Michigan. We've added on um, a new affiliate this year being Region 7B as well. So you can kind of get an idea of the students that you'll be meeting are from all over the state. So some of our results from the class of 2017, which is the most recent data that we have completed, um, our dropout prevention and dropout recovery graduation rate is 97%. Our employment rate for dropout prevention is 67 and recovery is 81%. Our positive outcomes are 93% for dropout prevention and 85% for recovery. And then our further education rate is 53% with prevention and with recovery is 23%. And then we have a quote here from Ken Smith, who is the president and CEO of Jobs for America's graduates. Across our state affiliates, Jobs for Michigan's graduates is one of the most consistently successful and rapidly growing organizations. So specifically about the career development conference that you guys are going to be volunteering for. Um, who will be there? There'll be youth from each program across the state. This is our 10th annual and it's on Thursday, March 21st from 9 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. We're hosting this at the Lansing Center, so that's in Lansing, Michigan, and what to wear for you guys during the day would be business professional. Um, the youth will be in business professional as well, but if you want to wear business casual, that will work. The point of the day kind of has a dual purpose, so it's a capstone event for students to showcase employability skills learned throughout the year, and it provides them an opportunity for our young people to practice and master additional work-ready competencies and to network with the youth across the state. So by the numbers you can see here, we have a little over 250 youth confirmed in attendance. We have about 100 employer judges, 30 volunteers, 50 specialists and managers, 15 VIP guests, and 51 awards to be won. For a quick overview of the schedule for the day, um, we will be opening registration starting at 9 a.m. That will be in the governor's room, which I'll get to a map shortly. That will be on the second level. There you'll have breakfast and time to meet with other judges. And then starting at 9.30, we'll be giving a volunteer briefing um, to go over, you know, just any last minute adjustments to the day. And then you'll be there meeting with your facilitator. So each event will have a facilitator and we'll make sure that you meet them while you're in that room so you can transition to the event with them. Um, this year, the event will be from 1010 to 1150, so that will be the time that you will actually be judging. And then following that, we have lunch um, 
And if you're able to stay for lunch, that's great. If not, please let me know. Um, that gives you time to network with the youth from your exact region. So we'll have lunch, then our main program, um, announcing the student and the alumni and leaders of the year. Uh, then we'll have a performance by Kinetic Effect, our award ceremony to acknowledge everybody that won for their specific event for the day, and then we'll be done by 2.30. The best parking option is the Lansing Center parking. Um, it's the closest and most affordable option, so I just want to make sure you guys were aware of that. And then this will be the map for the Lansing Center. So as you can see, we won't be utilizing the exhibit halls at all. Um, in the bottom left-hand corner, that's where the volunteer judges breakfast is. Um, so that's where you'll meet for the morning before distributing to your classrooms. So the competitive event rooms 101 to 104 will be product marketing and design. And then 201 on the second floor will be the JMG Bowl. 202 to 205 will be creative problem solving. And then over to your left, ballroom 7 and 8 will be interview skills. So the main program room where the youth will be in the morning is ballroom one through six. And that's where we'll, lunch will take place in the main program as well. So as you can see a better rundown of the events and the rooms, I'll be sending out a separate spreadsheet here just so you can see exactly what event you are on. You know, I tried to use your preferences to the best of my ability. And if that didn't work out, I reached out to you and let you know what was available. So I'll send that spreadsheet out so you can kind of see which event you're on and potentially who you're with. And then also the facilitators that will be helping lead your event um, from Connexus, our parent organization. So as you can see, that'll be from 1010 to 1150. Please review your packet with the script for each event. Your facilitator will be leading the event. So primarily they'll be doing all the talking and the emceeing but you guys will be judging and feel free to plug in where you guys feel um, necessary or feel you could be beneficial to. So all competitive events have been um, separated from in school versus out of school. Um, so that's our dropout recovery versus our dropout prevention. And so for the award winners, first place, second place and third place will all be separate for in school and out of school. However, for the JMG Bowl, that will be combined. So youth that are in school and out of school will be competing against each other. And on the spreadsheet that I'll send out, I'll make sure that you know whether you're judging in school youth or out of school youth. And then if you have been a judge with us in years past, just to let you know, there will only be one event this time. So that will give you a bit more time to have that one-on-one -on -one interaction with each of the youth. So one event versus two events like we have in years past. So arrival and event information. All volunteers will register at the top of the stairs on the second floor at the governor's room, where I mentioned to you guys. Um, you'll receive a packet of information that I will include in the email that I'm sending over to you as well. Um, we'll have breakfast for you. And then, like I said, we'll do a quick briefing just to make sure you are prepared. Um, and then I also will be sending over a volunteer media form for you guys to be filling out. Um, if you haven't filled that out in the plat in the past, please send it over to me. I'll also include that the day of. So if you just want to sign it, hey, that's totally fine too. Event information. Please be aware that the students that are participating um, in the events range from the fifth to twelfth grade reading level. Each event has different requirements. Please be sure to review the assigned event details. That I'll also be sending over to you, and I will have available the day of too. The judges. You guys are responsible for reviewing the requirements of the events and fully completing the score sheets for each youth that you'll be judging. Each event will be super supervised and facilitated by a Jobs for Michigan graduates volunteer staff member who will be able to answer any questions or requests that you have. So just a quick high level overview of each of the four events that we have this year. Um, interview skills, so the student will be interviewing for a simulated job opening um, for a computer numerically controlled machinist. Um, so students should be bringing a copy of their resume and cover letter, and then you'll be doing a mock interview with each of these students. 
So they should have all of that prepared ahead of time and also practice their interviewing skills prior to. And your facilitator will lead the timing of switching of each of the students. So you should probably speak to about 10 students during that time. Product design and marketing. So um, this is a little bit different than if you participated in years past. So we made this a team event this year. So you'll have three to four youth that will be given, um, given some items that they need to create a product. So that's the design part. And then they'll need to sell it to you. Um, so the scoring would be based off, you know, how well they did on the product design, but then also how well they're pitching their product to you. The JMG Bowl is also a team event, so that's teams of three to four members that are answering questions based off the competencies. Um, question and answer will be bo given both verbally and written. So the first half, they'll take a test, and then the second half, it'll be more, I would say, family feud style of elimination rounds. And then creative problem solving is our final event for the day. So that will be teams of three or four. They'll be giving a community issue, which I'll be sending out in the packet to you. So you guys have time to review that. Um, and then they'll be given time to review that, analyze how they would deal with that situation and then present it to the judges. So you'll be reviewing um, or judging about three groups and seeing um, three to four groups, depending, but and seeing how you would judge them based off the score sheet. And then lunch, we'll have a plated lunch again this year. So if you are gluten-free or vegetarian, please let me know at the time of registration. Um, we'll have to provide you with a meal replacement card. Otherwise, the servers won't know that you um, need that. At this point, judges are free to go if they need to get back to their um, job duties, but we do encourage you to stay and have lunch. It's a great opportunity for you to meet with our students and staff from our local areas. I will be sending out um, a seating chart of the local areas and all of the specialists and youth know to welcome you to their tables. This would be a great opportunity for you guys just to meet with some of the students and outside of the event um, competition. So I will send that over to you guys with the local area that your students will be from. Following that, we will have our main program. So we'll have a welcome from our executive director, Kristen Harrington. And then the JAG national um, president and CEO, Ken Smith, will be in attendance, and he will give us a welcome. And then we'll be honoring all four of our student and alumni of the year. Um, so you can see their names there. So we'll be honoring them. And then we'll have a guest performance from Kinetic Effect. And then we will announce the winners of each event. And then we'll take a group picture and then be gone by 2.30. So like I said, I'll definitely be sending over all of the information in the email along with this for you guys to review. Um, and it's important that you, you know, have a chance to review all that information. If you have any questions, please feel to reach out to me directly. Um, like I said, you will have facilitators the day of who will be helping run your events. Um, so they should be able to answer any questions that you may have the day of. And for more information, you guys can go check out our website, www.rusolutions.org. Um, you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram for updates. We'll be posting updates about the Career Development Conference all day on all three of those platforms. So I want to thank you for taking the time to listen to this webinar. Like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'll be sending out more detailed information in the email, um, all the logistics and everything that you guys will need to be prepared for the day. So thank you again for offering to volunteer. Our youth are very excited for this day and we're excited for you to see what they've accomplished this year. Thank you.